if, if you shoot and it's not on Instagram, did it even happen? No, I'm did. not sure. What's up, YouTube? Uh, Gunner South here. We're going to do a quick update on my Breda 92 FS Compact. I wanted to uh, update this. Uh, the very first first impressions video I did of this gun, I talked a lot about um, things I would change on it if I really wanted to make it like an EDC gun and sort of what the shortcomings I felt were of the gun and how uh, it could be improved in my opinion uh, and really become a solid uh, EDC choice. And uh, if you weren't aware, Beretta did, uh, Beretta Official, like the Beretta store did a lot of uh, sales over the holiday season and I bought a bunch of parts and dropped them in this Beretta compact and I kind of want to review them over and pretty much... Um, explain how I think I have now more or less accomplished uh, what I wanted to set out for this gun and that it is now, uh, in my opinion, able and ready and willing to be an EDC gun. So uh, I'm going to check clear real quick and I'll be right back. So let's go in what I believe to be the order of importance for how to take your 92 compact from out of the box to carry ready. Okay, first things I did was a little high-vis paint on the front sight and blacked out the rear sight. To me, that sight picture is one of, if not the most important things you need. Um, you need to have your sight picture good for a carry gun, and that's what I'm used to. Uh, the biggest shortcoming of any 92 FS series is the fixed front post. So I did what I could do to improve it, which is paint that front one, and it's really pretty serviceable. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's a vast improvement from the three dot white uh, sights that I had on it before. Okay, in my opinion, second most important thing to do to a 92 FS series gun out of the box in order to make it EDC carry, decocker. Decocker only. So, got me a 92 series G conversion, dropped it in, conversion kit. Uh, you basically end up with a whole bunch of parts and detents and stuff. Uh, Mr. Guns and Gears got a good tutorial on how to install it. Uh, Mosin Virus has a good tutorial on how to install it. But this is, in my opinion, super critical to um, having this 92 FS Compact be carry ready. Because if you sweep it, and it leaves it on safety, that's a problem because you have a, what, you get a dead trigger if the safety's on. But if that just pops right up, which it does in the G conversion kit, now there will never be a time where your trigger doesn't work because you can't put it on safe. It is now a decocker only gun. So that means that when you want to use this gun, it will be ready. It will be ready to pull the trigger. It will never be on safe. It will always be just a double action gun. So that is maybe even number one for a 92 series. If you could, if you can put up with the three dot sights, you know that's where you got to hit what you want to shoot at. But having the gun able to fire when you pull it out of the holster, no matter what, uh, that's that's maybe number one. I don't know. So I'll let you guys decide in the comments which one you think is actually more important. But I knew that if I was going to carry this gun, it had to have the G conversion in it. Now, you guys know I shoot IDPA a lot. If you want to make this Beretta Compact a CCP gun, then you need to do the low profile safety from Wilson Combat, and that is a safety only. And I really, I really, you see how wide that is? There's no way that's going to fit in the CCP box. But I really had a debate with is this going to be a carry gun or is this going to be a CCP gun? Is this going to be a competition gun or is this going to be a carry gun? And I decided that I liked it enough that I wanted to carry it. And if I wanted to carry it, I didn't want to compromise on a low profile safety with the 99% chance that I won't sweep it on because it's a low profile safety. No, I wanted to go with a G conversion, even if that meant that I cannot shoot this gun legally in ccp division now i might still shoot it in ccp division at a tier one match just because you know no one's going to care um but uh, you guys also if you follow the channel at all know that i i have a custom gun built for the ccp division so it would be hard for me to justify shooting this in a major competition over that other gun anyways because 
you know, it's sort of a gamer gun. So I was like, if I'm gonna carry this, it needs to be a G conversion. That way, every time I pull it out of the holster, it's ready to fire. I will never have the dead trigger. All right, it will, it will be ready to go. Okay, third thing I did to my compact to make it carry ready, if you wanna call it that, I guess that's probably what the name of this video might be. Uh, third thing to make your 92 Compact FS carry ready is a low profile hammer, right? That's been installed. Why? Well, uh, mainly because even if it is the 92 hammer, it'll poke you in the ribs a little bit. This is not going to poke me in the ribs. This, the only thing that's I've got is this rounded beaver tail, and that's never really been a problem. This really hasn't been a pro problem either, but it, it, uh, you know, it's it's sort of uh, it's just one less thing for to dig into your hip if you're going to carry this every day. So this is what it looks like to fire it. You know, you got a little bobbed hammer there. Um, that you're not going to carry it in single action, so it's going to sit like that. And then when you pull the trigger, bang, bang, right. And uh, you should never be you know pulling it out of the holster, cocking it into single action. You need to learn. The double action pull and it did lighten up the hammer a little bit i think probably the the uh, trigger pull is maybe a little better in the uh with the lightened hammer the low profile hammer it's kind of impossible to tell i i'm not going to throw it on the trigger scale or anything like that but this and, and you can still put it you know when you're holstering it you can still put your thumb on that hammer and you'll feel it coming back still so that's still there and you can be like whoa something's in my trigger guard what have you so it just makes this smoother rounded nice looking um but it does still also serve some function uh, i won't dig into your hip makes the gun a bit more comfortable and then the other thing i did in my opinion probably the what are we on fourth fourth most important thing to make this gun carry ready is i bought me a uh compact magazine adapter so what does that mean well it means that i can carry uh well this is a factory mag so it's got 13 but you can get them 15 and then this is a factory mag and it should only carry 15 but you can get them that they carry 18 so you can dramatically a you should just be you carrying the 15 round mags that's that's actually the next upgrade i need to do but as your second mag you can have an 18 rounder and with the adapter which is not a new thing in the firearms industry now uh, it gives you a, a centurion profile right so the full length um grip and it's really pretty neat how it works uh it works on the factory base plate uh so it slides over that and it actually looks pretty uh, like they, they, they did a good job with it uh, it looks pretty flush looks like it was kind of meant to be and they even have the cut up back there for the uh lanyard loop which you know maybe the lanyard loop is the next thing gets deleted but it fits in that slot which i thought was uh clever shows that they actually somewhat thought this out uh that said i'll show you another thing i will show you this whole how i how i'm probably gonna be running this for now is i have actually some metgar 18 round magazines and so this would be my backup magazine and it fits since i have the competition base plates on the easy off aluminum ones it just doesn't it doesn't fit as well it still fits and it still works in the gun and what you actually get is you get a little bit more gap uh which maybe looks bad however it's actually more comfortable and uh i you don't pinch your pinky if your pinky is hanging off there like one time i with the factory mag on there it, it actually did pinch right there which again none of this is super important in a life or death situation but just know that if you're going to throw 18 rounds on there or if i wanted to carry it like this with the 18 rounder in there you have a bit of a gap if you're using the metgar with the easy off aluminum ones you you can also i might just throw the factory base plate back on the metgar to get it flush if i if i really intended to carry it this way but i think this will be my second mag this will be like the pocket mag or something like that i will already intend to get a 15 rounder like the compact metgar ones 
and that'll that'll I mean that'll probably be sufficient for what I need and then my second mag will probably be a Metgar 18 rounder and uh, that gives me plenty of ammunition for carry if, if you shoot and it's not on Instagram did it even happen no, I'm did. not sure it didn't. and then probably uh, least important in terms of function uh, one of the most important things in terms of feel is uh, I actually put the swapped out the polymer trigger and I put the uh, is that like polymer trigger and I put the uh, and there's also the factory hammer and I, I put uh, the metal trigger in there um, which I don't know if y'all know that the the factory triggers the polymer ones as they come now have this matte feel pl plastic matte feel sort of like the side here and it, it just i don't know i like the uh, i like a metal feeling trigger it's smoother it's more comfortable um and just makes it easier in my opinion to pull the I don't, it's certainly not a big deal but it just feels more comfortable so i went ahead and put a metal trigger in here it actually already came actually it came with the metal guide rod which i thought was interesting on the compacts there so uh i only need to change out the metal trigger so yeah um those are the upgrades i did to my 92 fs compact without a rail uh, i've already done the initial impressions and i to me i'm really happy with it the i thought about doing the grips but the grips are a very thin profile it feels like and i actually really like them and I, they got pretty good texture so i don't feel the need to change them out with lock grips or something like that but that's certainly in the future uh, an option so what i might do to this gun that remains so you you see the the parts i've already bought for it and I, and to me this i could stop now and be perfectly happy with this gun uh what i might do in the future to continue to improve this gun to continue to customize it continue to make it to my liking is um extended mag release bevel the mag well and send it off to either Georgia Firing Line if they got time or Wilson Combat to drill out that front post and to insert a fiber optic rod. That should um, really take that sight picture and get it to where I like it. But, um, and I, I might delete that, you know, just by one or grind that down. But these are, we're really, really getting into the refinement phase for this. For me, mostly the G conversion second or first most important one sight picture first or second most important one bobbed hammer kind of an aesthetic choice sort of improve the trigger pull a little bit and then finally metal trigger more feel but also at the same time i feel a metal part is less likely to break than a polymer part you know i'm sure you guys might disagree with me glocks tend to do okay with polymer triggers so i don't know i mostly did it for feel so but uh there you go, guys. Thought I'd update you on this 92 Compact. I um, I uh, have been carrying it and will continue to carry it. Um, and I think it is a, a nice weight, feel, capacity, and operation gun. And I would trust my life to it because I have and do and continue to. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. If you are still made it to the end of this video, please give me a like, subscribe, I really appreciate it. I'll try to do more gun review video type stuff, but um, if not, you can enjoy the shooting every week. Thanks a lot, guys.